For my Newbery Award winner, I chose to read Hello Universe by Aaron Entrada Kelly. This contemporary realistic fiction book does not have any illustrations associated with it. However, at the beginning of every chapter, underneath the chapter number and title, there's a little symbol that we see throughout the book. It doesn't give any credit to anyone else. I'm assuming it is the author who did this. If you see a snake throughout these chapters, it represents the bully by the name of Chet. If we see the hamster, which we learn is by the name of Gulliver, represents Virgil, the shy boy, whose parents also call him Turtle due to his shyness. If you see the book, or excuse me, not the book, the bird here with an S, it's the young lady by the name of Valencia. She is a deaf girl who lost friends because of her how-tos and what her how-tos are is how to interact with her, that you have to speak slowly, look at her, really pronunciate your words sort of deal because she doesn't know American Sign Language and nor is there any opportunities for her to do that. So she really looks at your lips and your facial expressions to understand what you're saying, even though she does have hearing aids. And then finally, we see Kaori, and there's a little mat here, and it's maybe a little bit difficult to see, but this mat has the different zodiac signs because she sees herself as a fortune teller. And that's actually how three of the characters come to interact with each other. Virgil goes to see her to help get over his dilemmas. And within his dilemmas, one time he said, okay, go ahead and find five rocks because he had this great big mistake at the end of the sixth grade school year. She, or excuse me, he is rather asked to go through and pick up five stones for the next visit that he has with the fortune teller by the name of Kaori, and to put a card at the grocery store so she can get more customers in this case. And that is actually how Valencia comes to interact with her because she's having this bad reoccurring dream about not having friends is what they end up finding out. However, all of them interact with this bully by the name of Chet. Chet makes fun of our protagonist here of Virgil because he's shy and quiet and he doesn't know his multiplication facts so he's come called a retard dumb and stupid and Chet does everything to make him feel awful so Virgil does whatever he can to ignore him and to stay away with, from him he also he being that of Chet makes fun of Valencia for being deaf and dumb and stupid well one of these days on his way to go through the woods, not to go by Chet's house, we see Virgil with his hamster, Gulliver, in his backpack, trying to pick up this five stones onto his next meeting with Kaoria. Not only does he pick up the five stones, he runs into Chet, who's in the woods, by the way, looking for a snake to prove his own gusto to another boy within his life. And he steals the backpack, throws it down an abandoned well, and then runs off laughing, making fun again, once again, at Virgil. Well, Virgil climbs down the well. He can't reach the backpack, so he jumps down to save his pet hamster, Gulliver. What happens next is he can't come back up because there's too many missing rungs. In the meantime, we see our other character of Valencia comes through the woods. She sees an open well topping well she's very into animals she has a notebook she writes down all the time all this information she doesn't want the squirrels to fall through she covers up the well she goes meets Kaoria finds out that her dreams are about her being lonely they're going back through the woods and not only do two things happen in this story they find Chet who was bit by a snake and due to Valencia's knowing of all the different animals and how they interact. It was just a small bite. He wasn't sick. He runs off. But then through all the interactions, they see stones. They put a lid on. They get text messages that Virgil's missing. They put it together that he's in the well and they're able to rescue him. So we kind of see that interaction of trying to find friends, which a lot of students can relate to and maintaining friendships and how difficult that can be. A good um, activity to go along with this Hello Universe and this theme of how to find friends and make friends would be to have a character analysis 
of why their actions are what they are and why they feel how they feel. And the nice part, at the end, they can back it up with tech support, which would be really good for this appropriate age level, about 10 through 12 years old, of using that information from a textbook and backing it up of why you believe or why did a character act the way he or she did. And the nice part about this contemporary nonfiction book, it can happen anywhere, uh, the difficulties of making a friendship. So once again, this was Hello Universe by Aaron and Trotta Kelly.